हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर क्लास सेवन इंटीजर्स इंटीजर्स व्हाट आर इंटीजर्स बट बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट इंटीजर्स वी हैव टू मेमोराइज आवर सेल्फ अबाउट नेचुरल नंबर्स एंड होल नंबर्स नेचुरल नंबर ऑल काउंटिंग नंबर्स नेचुरल नंबर मीन्स ऑल काउंटिंग नंबर नेचुरल नंबर मीन्स ऑल काउंटिंग नंबर All counting numbers, numbers are called natural number. Natural numbers. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Now, next is the whole number. the group of natural numbers the group of natural numbers including with zero is called whole number is called whole number the group of natural numbers including with zero is called whole number now our the next term is integer that is related to our chapter integer all natural numbers and their negatives all natural numbers and their negatives including with zero is called integers so the integer is all natural numbers and their negatives including with zero is called integers that is 1 2 3 4 5 infinite 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 until another numbers so this is the integer integer of two types integer of two types one is positive integer and another one is negative integer so now we will see the types of integers integer of two types one is positive integer and another one is negative integer All integers that contain positive sign are called positive integers. All integers that contain positive sign, like one, two, three, four, five, and so on, are called positive integers. And all integers that contain negative sign are called negative integers. Now, here one thing we have to remember in our mind: zero. Zero is an integer that is neither positive nor negative. that is sorry neither positive nor negative so leaving zero all the other integers are categorized in two groups positive and negative integer that contain positive sign are called positive positive integers and integer that contain negative sign are called negative integers now we have to learn some property of integers property of addition on integers the very first property is closer property of addition closer property of addition according to this property of integers if we are adding two integers then their sum will always an integer suppose a and b are two integers a and b are two different integers and if we are adding a and b and let their sum will be c Then C will also an integer. Suppose we are adding four and three. Four is also integer. Three is also integer. So their sum will be here seven. 
then according to this law seven seven will also an integer now the next property of addition on integer is commutative law of addition commutative law of addition commutative law of addition according to this law if we are adding two integers and if we reverse their position or if we swap swap their position then their sum will not affected their sum will be same suppose a and b are two integers now if we are adding a plus b and if we swapping the position if we are taking the sum of b plus a then the sum of a plus b always equal to b plus a for all integers or for different integers okay for example we are taking two numbers 4 and minus 3 now the sum of 4 and minus 3 will be 1 and if we are changing the position minus 3 swapping the position of the integers here then again means the sum will be get here 1 so according to this rule the sum of two integers will be not affected if we swap their positions if we swap their position that is the commutative law the next law of addition is associative law of addition according to this law associative law of addition if we are adding two integers sorry more than two integers then if we are changing or swapping their position then the again sum will be not affected suppose if we are adding let like a b and c are three integers a b and c are three integers and if we are adding a with the sum of b plus c and if we are adding c with the sum of a plus b then their sum will be always same suppose we are taking three integers for example 4 minus 5 and 3 now if we are adding 4 with the sum of minus 5 and 3 then our result here will be 2 and if we are adding 3 with the sum of 4 and minus 5 then again our sum will be 2 so according to this law the sum of 4 or any two integers added with the third integers and if you are swapping their position then their sum will be same now the fourth law fourth law is existence of additive identity existence of additive identity in the fourth law is this law tell us that if we are adding any integer with zero then the number or the particular integer will not lose its identity its identity will be same suppose a number let a is an integer and if we are adding a with zero or zero with added with the same integer then there uh, there sum will all, always the same integer means the identity of an integer will be continuous if it is added with zero so zero is also known as zero is called additive identity for integers zero is called additive identity for integers and now here the last law for the property of addition the very first law is closure property second we have seen commutative property third we have seen associative law of addition fourth 
property we have seen here existence of additive inverse and the last one is existence of additive inverse existence of additive inverse existence of additive inverse according to this law if we, uh, there is an integer then it must uh, there it will be a its additive inverse and if we are adding the integer with its in, uh, its additive its additive inverse then their sum will be zero suppose if i am taking a an integer then its additive in inverse will be minus 1 minus a sorry its additive inverse will minus a and if we are adding these two integers then their sum will be zero we can make additive inverse of any integer by changing its sign if there is minus 1 for example it is an integer minus 1 then by multiplying it minus we can change we can find out its we will get a 1 that is the additive inverse of minus 1 these are the five laws that we have to study about the properties of addition.